What's up, Libra? My name's Lisa. So this is for Libra, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy within yourself or between you and another person. If you're drawn to this title, I just believe that you're meant to be here. You do not have to be a Libra to resonate with it. So this is going to be your overall energy. I want to let you know that right before I turned on the camera, um, Manskin song, I Want to Be Your Slave came on. So that's kind of like a hot and sexy song. So somebody could be like, I don't know, I, it feels like craving someone. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Here's your overall energy here. Ooh, and I just got like really hot. Like I feel like whatever this connection is like or whenever it comes about, it's like really hot. It's really fucking passionate. Like you don't talk about it, Libra. You just are about it. Like that's how this connection is going to be. It's like going to be just between the two of you. And it's like it's going to be hot. Jesus. All right. Give me one, one card for the overall energy for Libra crystals. Okay. So amethyst could be significant to you. It says your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So I don't have um, my amethyst over here right now. And environmentalist, you're an earth angel who has who is born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. Okay. So I feel like you could work outside or just like being outside. Okay. You do connect like outside with mother nature very well. Right. So, um, you may even want to start working with some amethyst. All right. Even like placing it on your third eye and just like kind of like laying there or even like holding it in your hand, uh, during meditation. Okay. All right. Give me one card here for, something here about like dirt or like even like being underground okay I don't give me one card for divine feminine energy please okay the waiting game so I feel like this divine feminine energy yeah look this is the divine feminine right and again it's like these circles it's like um And see, even here, it's like the root and the tree. So this is the two of swords. So I feel like you could feel like there's something dead within this connection. And for the first time ever, I just realized that on either side of here, those little squares are like doorways into other realities okay so i feel like this divine feminine could be making some sort of decision like she's trying to decide make a decision like it's like or she's coming out of a time like you see how this is it's like or maybe this is you coming out of a time of life where it's like you didn't feel like something was growing because it was like taking forever and ever but look at those roots like what you didn't see was the roots were just growing. So whatever you were creating was getting very um, secure, right? It was getting very, um, it's being built upon something that can withstand the test of time is what I'm hearing. Okay. So it's like, what, what hasn't come in yet? Like she's about to come up to like the next level here. Okay. So I feel like this, which is where and Libra, this is also your card, okay? But this is also about Venus. Um, I want to say like Venus is in retrograde or something like that, but I'm not, I know Saturn is in retrograde or it's about to be in retrograde. There's a lot of stuff going on astrologically right now, Libra, and it's causing like confusion between like your feelings and your ego, right? So, somebody could be having some sort of issue here like maybe somebody's feelings got really like butt hurt okay that's what i'm hearing so it's like it's like there's like this energy of like hmm you know like they don't want to talk because like their feelings got hurt okay but there's like this 
um, overriding of their ego here, okay? But somebody is waiting, okay? There, I, I feel like your Divine Feminine is waiting, okay? Somebody could have put this connection in like some sort of like stagnant energy where it was not moving forward okay but what you don't what you don't know or what you don't realize or even like what this divine feminine doesn't realize is that your connection because i feel like there was like a third party like an interference what you don't understand or what even your divine feminine doesn't understand is that the connection that the two of you had was based on truth and reality that's what that's what these roots are representing okay and so it's like there's still some things that need to be cleared up here but the fog is being lifted right because i don't know if you can see this little person here but this little person is like um looking down like they don't even realize they don't even realize it's like what's coming is like this tree, it's like harvest, like full on harvest, right? So I feel like when you meet this person, like when you come together with this, whoever this person is, like something could have like ended, right? Like something could have like, like stranger energy or just like, like took completely depleted, depleted you, right? It's like all the trees like fell, like all the leaves fell off the tree, right? And it's like, um... Yeah, somebody like left the building, right? Like somebody is like not in that same area. Like you guys for some reason could all know each other or something like that, but um, there was definitely... Did you hear that? Interference. All right, yeah. Divine masculine energy. Okay, really got a lot on your on your plate but it's like you're moving with your heart divine masculine energy here is moving with your heart okay and nine and two is eleven all right which breaks down to a two okay so that that tells me like two 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 could be be significant or the number twenty two okay so spiritual strength right this is like looking to a higher power okay realizing like it's like you have like it's like having the incredible hulk behind you like wow you know like you are like having that within you all right, give me one card for the so i don't know what happened here libra but this was like it, it's like serious destruction oh shit the tower like i feel like whatever happened between you and your person because i feel like you know each other but neither one of you like i don't feel like you're speaking to this person i don't feel like either one of you really know if you're thinking of each other, okay, I feel like there was some major, like major, major, major interference, okay? Like um, a lot of lies and deception, okay? Yeah, disruption, all right? It was like even there could have been something here, like there's something here about like feeling like trapped and paralyzed. Like I'm even feel like feeling like shackles, like hopefully, I don't know, somebody could have even gotten arrested or, um, I don't know, this, this, this kind of like something could have gotten dirty. Okay. Like really fucking dirty. Like somebody was like, there's like lies. It just feels like something was really nasty. Okay. But it's like, I do feel like that, that phase is like, like coming to a close or it's already closed out. Right. And you, there is somebody else here and I feel like your heart never left them, okay? Or you're still curious about them or they're still curious about you. But you're both like single right now, okay? I'm letting you know that. Give me one card for the connection. Yeah, this is all about divine timing and healing and patience. Okay, you're both learning about patience because I feel like, 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 you know, that energy I was getting in the beginning, it was like that, it was like this, what they just said was carnal craving. It's like, I feel like you both just like want to like, like, <laughs> like just like rip each other's clothes off, you know, it feels like very passionate, right? So, and it's 
like you could have wanted to be together for a long time, but there's like somebody kept on interfering with this connection. And um, it could have like even like made you feel like a little bit insane at times, you know, because I feel like there was there was somebody like I'm hearing like putting shit in your ear or something like that. Yeah. So you, walking away, I feel like you both either you both had somebody like this in your life doing this or just one of you did but whoever was connected to somebody else walked away okay and i feel like there's there's like a level of remorse here okay i did just get my text message so i feel like somebody could be reaching out via text message here soon okay and uh yeah let's see what's going on Give me one card here for the Divine Feminine Energy. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So there's something that's just been very slow moving, okay? But see, this this Knight of Pentacles, this is the only knight that is assured to like come out to be king, right? He makes it to King of Pentacles, all right? So even though he's he takes a long time, okay, this, this feminine could be like fed up or just like over. It's like probably gave up. Okay. This is also why this two of swords is here, you know, thinking that this person is like never coming or they're just like not, I feel like this divine feminine honestly is not like really thinking about love at all. Okay. And, but the thing is, is that, um, let me get one more card here. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Swords. See? Okay. This is the truth, okay? So it's like, I feel like this Divine Feminine made a, made a decision because it was just like, whatever, you know? Like, this is like, something was taking so long. Like, I, there's like this level of frustration. So like, the King of Swords doesn't ask questions, just done, cut off, right? But the thing is, is that even though this is like a mask this 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 person is wearing okay this person isn't done okay this person just is frustrated <laughs> because of the length of time that it's taken for something to happen for movement to come okay so but that doesn't mean you know rush keep doing what you have to do libra all right give me one card for the yeah there you are libra just keep trusting your intuition because you are being divinely guided, okay? Keep doing what you're doing, all right? Because I feel like at, at, at this time, it's like you're integrating. And, and a lot of people are. Like, this is, it's like making peace with, like, your past, with your darkness, with your light. Like, real, working, working with them together, okay? It's like learning how to have the best of both worlds, but realizing that it comes with a balance, right? Okay? I'm also hearing like the cause and effect of things. All right. The connection. Yeah. There is a fresh start coming here. Okay. But it's, but it's in the divine's time. Okay. And whoever is the one that's like wanting this already, it's like, this is in divine's time. Okay. This person knows it. Okay. I feel like this person might be mad, but it's just like, they're not going to be mad once you call them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And there's like, um, this is a number 14, which is a number five. Okay. So that, that signifies the change. All right. And the change is this new beginning. Okay. That's the ace of pentacles, which stands for somebody could be getting a lump sum of money here, a big sum of money too, as well. Okay. Or even a new job. Okay. It could be like shocking. Like somebody could get something just completely unexpected. All right. And even like, the fact that there is a new opportunity or that this opportunity comes, that could also be shocking. Okay. Um, it's also going to be a shock for other people. Okay. But it's just about the two of you. Yeah. I'm here. Just the two of us. All right. Give me one card for the divine feminine energy, please. Yeah. Worth waiting for and healing family issues. So, Part of the reason why this person has had to wait for so long is because this person um, is building their, is like healing their inner child doing this because it's like 
they're finding their own value within self, like not not putting the value of themselves in the idea of like having someone stand beside them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're finding their their true value, their own value in with whatever it is that they're doing for themselves right now, right? It's like their confidence is growing. Uh, their ambition is growing. They're, they're being able to make decisions. They're becoming clear on what they want. Okay, this has been a long journey. And the reason why this person hasn't come in or for you, Libra, or you haven't come into this person yet is because this person has taken so long to recognize their true worth and value. But now they know. Okay, they're, they're still, they're, they're, they're embracing it. They're continuing to brace, embrace it. They're, they're healing. Um, they're also, could, they, this person could also have children and they're working on uh, connections with their children. Okay, there, there could be something that their, their children needed. But this is also healing inner, inner child wounds. Okay, so give me one card for the Divine Masculine energy, please. Yeah, th this this divine masculine like sees you or you see this person as like your spouse, your your future wife. Yeah, th this person's gonna come and flirt. Like this relationship, I feel is like always going to be flirty, right? I even feel like there is uh, telepathic communication between the two of you. Okay, uh, but maybe you haven't been like feeling this person lately, Libra, and that's because this person like has a little attitude, okay, about, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're getting over it, all right, the divine is, like, putting them through it just because, like, they're going through this lesson of, like, their, their own worth and value, right, without having whatever it is they want, like, when they want it, right, it's, like, instead of, like, going after that instant, immediate gratification, it's, like, the, the divine is, like, allowing them to savor in, themselves right and to um appreciate their time like with themselves yeah so yeah because there, there could be something here it's like where this person is like it has never really had like uh, time to just like be by themselves and that's what this that's also what the divine is giving this person is this this time to like just kind of like recuperate and soak up the sun and and life just on their own but it's like i feel like this it's taken this person a while to to figure that out or to even appreciate like that's what this was because they've been so frustrated about like or wanting love to come in so much right but it's not about that. It's like this person needed to heal themselves first because it's like when when you come together, you want to be able to 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 stay together. The divine wants you to stay together. But if you're too like um, clingy, like the other person isn't going to want that. Right. So it's like there's there's something here where you're both like learning about um, being individuals and being uh, confident and not being like uh Like, like, even look at this wedding. Like, I even feel like there's something here, like, part of, like, what's taken so long is, like, one or both of you could have been in past relationships where the other person was very, like, yeah, I, I'm hearing that song, private eye, they're watching you. Like, somebody was, like, like, used to, like, scrutinize every little thing that you did. So it's, like, fuck that. I ain't ever getting in a relationship again, okay? But the thing is, is that whatever this is, is real. Okay. Yeah. Love yourself first. See, told you. All right. So that just came out. I'm going to leave it out. Okay. So give me one card for the connection, please. Yeah. Forgiving and learning. So it's like you, and it's safe for you to love. So it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And see, you see how this card is like, the guy is over here. The girl's like ready to take off and the guy comes. Okay. And it's like, cause she's like out of here. Like, I feel like there's something here where this, um, one energy is like just so annoyed and frustrated. Just like fine. Okay. It's like, I feel like this is both like stubborn energy. Right. But, um, 
this new beginning comes like as you guys like learn to forgive each other and yourselves okay because i feel like somebody was like really upset like really butthurt that it's taking so long all right and they just like could have like cut you off or um either way this person is um you're both learning about self-love right and you're both like healing in this process and there is a new beginning coming right and it is it is safe for you to love love this person and and like the next card is the honeymoon card which means like there is a div um divinely guided you know face-to-face -face communication coming in between like now and two months so um just keep doing what you're doing okay you you both are healing you both are like learning to trust and depend upon your higher powers and um so it doesn't become codependent that's it that's that's the bottom line look spiritual understanding exactly archangel raziel i am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths and that's what's happening here it's like you're both like in this energy of um getting the higher idea like this is a deep connection all right when this comes together it's like nothing's going to tear you guys apart you guys are always going to be able to talk to each other it, it is so divinely guided all right but it's like this lesson needed to come in and even all the turmoil from and the wreckage of your path yeah see it's going to be a shocking connection like everybody's going to be like what like wait what like when I, we didn't even know they knew each other you know like something like that like it's going to be like wait what like everybody's kind of going to be shocked i think all right and um there's this willingness to work uh, on things you know it's like you you're creating something together it's like you guys are working on your on your connection and you want it to it's like you work together you could even be creating something together okay eventually you could like create a business together or something like that what's at the bottom yeah hello from heaven okay i also um like this is this is the divine but these are your crossover loved ones it's like it's like your person's crossover loved one sought out you and your person's and your crossed over loved one sought out your person and they were like these two gotta get together okay like these two these two gotta go together so it's like they're working together okay um to bring you guys together because this is like this is this is it like this this is it and it's going to be safe for you to love be flirtatious all right but stay in the moment yeah see heart to heart conversations are coming and and a reconciliation see go ahead and and express your love there is a separation that's happening right now but that doesn't stop the passion that both of you feel for each other okay so it is real okay um yeah there you go i love you libra if anyone's interested in a personal reading all my information is in the description box bye